Let's bring back Mike Munchak. He's on the market. He's not going to be the offensive line coach for the Denver Broncos. His daughter lived in Denver, which is why he left Pittsburgh in the first place. But the Broncos now have a new head coach with the departure of Vic Fangio. And I I looked at the rushing totals year in and year out. Munchak never finished below 100 yards rushing when he was the offensive line coach for the Pittsburgh Steelers, with the exception of the 2018 season, which was the year Le'Veon Bell sat out the season because of the contract dispute. But over 100 yards in each of his three seasons with the Denver Broncos, I know it's only one indication of how effective is your offensive line, but I, you know I'm not always happy with the Steelers' offensive line, and there's a lot of youth on the offensive line. But I found this to be pretty interesting. Since 2019, the Steelers right. are due to hire their fifth different offensive line coach since 2019. You need to have some continuity. You need to have a personality. You need to have someone who can come in and teach these young guys what they need to do to gel effectively. And I think Mike Munchak could do that for the Pittsburgh Steelers. He's out on the open market. You need an offensive line coach. Bring Mike Munchak back to Pittsburgh. You need to have a dad. You, 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 your, your team is only good as your offensive line coach. Man, that's just that's just what it is. From the Russ Graham's Hall of Fame to the Munchaks, when I was there, like, when we was balling and when we had a run game and when we had personality and attitude on the offensive line, it was because of our offensive line coach. And that's, that's exactly what it is. I think we talked about this early in the season, even though Cincinnati have a depleted offensive line, but they wind up kind of turning the tides. When we talked about Cincinnati early in the season, man, the first thing that we were talking about was the offensive line coach and how much of a dog he is and his personality. He always get, he wants his guys to get after whoever 24-7, regardless of what the situation is. Same and, way and Ike, Pitt. you're talking about Frank Pollock of the Cincinnati Bengals, their offensive yes. line coach. Yes, Coach Frank. They, you, if you just ask any one of the guys, if Zach Taylor, if Zach Taylor's, if Zach Taylor's not the head coach, <laughs> Coach Frank should be the head coach. That's just how they feel. But that's his personality, and that's 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 what you want. Like when you have an assistant coach, your assistant coach should be the offensive line coach in my mind because that's all I know from Pittsburgh: the Russ Grimm, the Mike Munchaks, all them coaches. Man, them, <laughs> there was a personality not only for the team. Before the offensive line, that's exactly what they wanted to do. They had a lot of input with the OC on running the ball. Hey man, this this is this is this is our personality. This is what we need to establish. And that's what Pittsburgh got away from. Even though Najee is going to the going to the Pro Bowl, he did a lot of good things out the backfield and him running the ball. I agree, but I think his career could get better if he had Coach Mike Munchak. It's a coach, coach Munchak helps everybody. He helps the wide receivers. Not only helps the offensive line, but it helps the running back. There's there's not a there's not to say so well, Coach Munchak is not helping if if he goes there, and Lord knows I hope he does come back to Pittsburgh because I feel like they really need him because you're right what you said earlier, Mark. It's a young offensive line. And why not have a veteran guy like Coach Munchak who knows exactly what he's talking about? Go on, come on, Coach Munchak. Your daughter's straight, she's fine, you did everything you need to do. Come back forward. <laughs> And the Steelers haven't averaged more than 100 yards rushing since he left town. So that goes back to 2019, 2020, and the 2021 season, Ike. A lot of youth on the offensive line, but if you're getting mixed messages from the person who's in charge of you, I I, I did not know that until I researched for this segment, Ike. I think it would make a lot of sense to see him return to the Pittsburgh Steelers organization. No, 100%. I I, I think Coach Munchak, you know, I mean, we already talked about Coach Vic Fangio on the defensive side, but Coach Munchak on the offensive side definitely helps.